Hey, so just a little video on uh, hoists and drops, jive drops. Um, just a bit of a different manoeuvre, be quite a quick quick video really, not, not a whole lot to them. So when we mark for a bareway set, we have the helm go in and get the control lines just because uh, that means the crew can keep on cheating for as long as possible, keeping the boat flat and driving. Go for the downhaul first because it's got the least impact on the sail shape. And then go for the kicker second, blow the kicker as late as possible near the mark. Uh, take a step back, crack the jib, uh, start to bear away, helm keeps the main sheet, lets the first few handfuls out and then uh, passes back to the helm as the boat spins off downwind. Once boat's settled, move my weight off the wire just to stand on the side. What this does is as the kite pops it um, allows it to kind of fill a bit more, less kind of strain on it. It's important to get your control lines released before the bow away. This moves the centre of effort forward, allows you to create a lot of twist in the mainsail and just make the whole process of getting the bow downwind a lot easier. So a jibe drop, the main thing is really just to treat the, the jibe just like a, a normal jibe, keep plenty of speed on the entry, sometimes depending on the geometry of how I'm kind of heading into the mark I might pause on the old side as a helm kind of get the right entry angle to the mark what I do try to do as a helm is grab a handful of kicker before the leeward mark just so if we do need to come out the mark and just sheet for speed straight away we've got a little bit of shape in the mainsail for upwind the Cunningham pretty much always get once we've rounded up if it's really windy though or wavy I probably wouldn't move forward from the back foot loop in a um, in a drop just a little jibe sh shown in the mix there just to show the entry to the jibe and how um, on a standard jibe we kind of move more in time into the boat uh, compared to the jibe drop where there was a little pause where guy went in first but otherwise it's a very similar sort of footwork into that into that maneuver and finally a straight drop here um, come up on the trapeze lines just so that when we come back out for wind we're not too low Again, really just creating a stable platform for the crew. Depending on how tight we are to the mark, what the lay's like, I might stay out on the wire, but uh, if I can at all, I try to come in, grab a bit of kicker, uh, just so we've got a bit of sail shape for when we round the mark, and we can sail on that for a few boat lengths before going, going in and getting the Cunningham, kind of setting the kicker more precisely. So yeah, just a short video this time. Uh, nothing much to it, but I figured I don't really show much of hoist and drops and the process we go through, so it's nothing groundbreaking, but uh, yeah, hopefully uh, hopefully that helps for, for those of you watching at home.